Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Grand Admiral with Scaling Syncretic Evolution 25 times Crisis Strength. I'm your host, Coach Fade. It's in the middle of a war here with our Federation. They wanted to, our neighbors, part of our Federation here, wanted to go to war with the Zum Tranquil Administrators. They're going to achieve their war goals, which is to conquer some stuff. They should be able to settle for status quo pretty soon if they want to, but uh, we're trying to get our fleets here. I'm trying to get some troops ready. And I want to take all my current troops and move them to here. So I want, I should just go down here and do this. Yeah. Do this. Shift, 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 shift. And say move to right there. And we're going to go over here. And I've claimed this one system. I want to get the planet here. I want to have an anchor so I can put a gateway in here. <laughs> and, then, and then from here we can continue to go to war against these fools with our and uh, grab things. So in the meantime, I'd like you to do this. I'd like to have this whole wheel, but I don't have enough. Actually, the place we claimed is here, Fateria. Uh, I claimed that, and I didn't get a claim this place with the planet. So. We don't have enough yet to claim it. It's lacking 163. Hopefully the war will end before that happens. Um, there's some, what, debris here? 90 days. Research time, 90 days. How? 1,400 days to do it. Uh, let's see if we can get a science ship over there that fast then. This one at Trappist, assisting research. Who's fast? Uh, oh. Okay, hold on. You, my friend, should be over here working on this. And you, you're excavating the archaeological site, but you are not the excavator that the other guy is. So you can come up here and research this. It's going to take you a while to get to. And then we're just moving on our empire here, trying to get everything. We got, we're got we're work, working on the Cybrex Alpha research world. That ring segment is getting built the building up our empire here this world oh you're gonna need some more city districts aren't you plasma cannons all right gateway construction I'm not there yet not where we need it yet Anywhere we have unemployment, that guy's just going to have to wait. This place is a little different story, though. We can put these folks to work. Hishma. I haven't decided what I'm doing with this planet yet. This one, what are these? Penthulans. Yeah, you guys are waiting. I know. You need, like, two more Penthulans here. It's an alpine world. And this one is also an Alpine World. I can move you to... Where is it? What world was I at? Doltari. Let's resettle you to Doltari. Right there. We're going to move you. And we're going to move a couple more people. There we go. So we can go up to Doltari and we can say, hey, hey, hey. Provide some jobs for you guys. Oh, look, there's someone over here getting that. You guys should, should go take care of that. Well, maybe we'll do it. I don't want to lose that spot. And I want to get this other one, this claim here, 139. These guys have all these little tiny fleets now. So we should be able to crush them pretty easily. Oh, and then that's the other thing. I didn't turn my edicts on, and I should have. Let's do this. We've got exotic gases of fuel. Speed that up. Shield boost. Uh, ammunition. Explosives. Reactive armor. Crystal and sensors. Focusing crystals do what? Energy weapon damage. Yeah. Let's turn all that stuff on. And get it over there. Good. Is he is he gonna be able to do it? They got a bunch of little tiny fleets. 
Oh, nope, you got crushed. So we'll go over there and take care of those guys. The EQ Monopolis. 656 days for the Arcology Project. This is going to be fantastic. Then we can start cranking out the alloys, which will be amazing. We're already buying 50 of them, which is pretty cool. We could buy more. Why don't you move up there? Let's see if this other guy is headed to that spot. Who's headed where? He's just sitting here. He's like, eh, I'm going to hang out here for a while. Okay. are about ready to go through there, aren't you? What are these guys doing? Are they running? They kind of are. Oh, oh you missed him. You missed him. Go get him, tiger. Are they just going to sit here right there and wait for us? That's kind of amazing. Trappist, an alloy world. Here we come. Boom! It's a mess. Oh, and they just ate him for lunch. Oh, what do we want to do here? Beldross and Zoom. Let's go take them out. What are they doing? They're just sitting there waiting. Kind of, yeah, they're sitting by this gateway trying to... Uh, Act all crafty, like, hey, as soon as somebody comes through here, will you jump them? <laughs> Just jump them. Hostile fleet engaged. Yep, hostile fleet engaged. Way to go, boys and girls. Way to crunch them. Ladies, nice job. That's awesome. How big are you guys? 4,000. And then there's these punks over here. What are you doing? Are you just sitting there? You are. What about you? Sitting? Yep. Okay. Let's go put some pain on him. What do they got for ships here? Some chunky looking monkeys. What is it? Battleship? They got a battleship. Good for them. Good for them and their battleship. Whoa. Turn around and run. Oh, yeah, we're going hard after that, aren't we? Research complete. Chunk. Okay, that's nice. Come back down here. Tachyon Lance. What else do we have? Science Nexus. The rest of this is repeatable except for that Guardian Point Defense. Okay. How are we doing for... How are we looking for these guys? Join Everybody join hands here. We got 600. Perfect. I want you guys to move. Get over here. We're going to escort you over to this spot. Oh, the war's over. Federation committee is formed. An impartial committee of scientists and thinkers is gathering within our Federation chambers. Its purpose is to serve the Pan-Galactic Information Cooperative as a academic arbiters during this upcoming leadership contest. Each empire will now assemble a team of researchers to investigate an issue, the findings of which should somehow benefit the future of our federation. The teams will present their findings to an open forum. Whichever thesis, study rates, highest in innovation, science rigor, and coherence will earn its author's empire the right of leadership for the next term. The thesis challenge will commit shortly. We have won this war, and we didn't get what we wanted. That, oh, the Darzak expansion has got this. We did. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay, you guys can return home. Uh, you guys probably need to land then right here. Where is the planet at? Where is the planet proper at? Oh, is there not a planet there? There's not. Need to go here. 
Land your armies there. Uh, you, mister, need to move to here. And you need to upgrade. That's, oh, that was so pretty. So we did get that one little spot out of it. That's nice. We got, we got a foothold in there. <laughs> That's awesome. That's going to be great. Oh, track on map. I got a scientist headed out that way. Where are they at? Right there? Where are they? Which one are they? Where are they going? Where is the scientist? Is this guy? Which guy is it? Which one's the one on the move? This fool. You need, you're the archaeologist. Excavate that site. This one. No orders. Yeah, I, you're the one I gave orders to you, ding dong. Go over here. Research that project. And then research that project. Thesis is chosen. Federation Committee has passed over the proposal favoring the vacuous study from the Uvzant on the value of spiritual purpose with Stranded. What? We've failed to secure leadership. Okay. Someone's going to need to explain that to me. Because thesis defense. Victor will depend on rulers, leader, and science traits. Oh. Champion. Okay. So, ruler traits, monthly minerals, and happiness. Oh, that would be why. Okay, well. I suppose I, I was really hoping it was going to be just the strength of our and technology level, which we're the crushers, but the Uvzant. Who's the Uvzant's leader? Let's go look and see. This is the only thing we're going to, the only way we're going to learn anything. Is this their leader? Founder species, but where's their leader? How do I see who it is? If I go to uh, Uvzant. I'm not sure how I determine who their leader is. Or if I can. It's this guy. Civics. Well, so, it, but it's not going to tell me. It tells me their ethics and civics. It doesn't tell me about anything about him in specific, their leader. So, I don't know. So the computer could be just randomly rolling dice and not actually using anything that matters because their tech level is so far behind us. It's like, here's the thing. If it's a thesis defense, victory will depend on the ruler's leader and science traits and technology level. The Uvvant. Okay, look at these guys. Look at our tech level. We'll go to the victory screen. Darzak expansion is tech level 4,000. 112 and the oove are at 1400 you're telling me that their leaders traits made up for 3000 points fuck you <laughs> that's what i gotta say fuck you fuck you paradox come on quit screwing us over man that's bullshit that's bullshit that's bullshit Nah, that's fucking bullshit. One of you paradox people who's out there at who works at the company, one of you devs who might be lucky enough to be watching this or whatever, that's bullshit, and you know it. Thesis defense. Come on, man. My technology level is crushing everybody except the Chinor, and you're telling me that their leader traits made up that difference? Please. All I ask for in games like this is for shit to make sense. That's all I ask for. For X games, I ask for things to just be logical and make sense. I want an opportunity here for for the world that for the empire I'm building, which is technologically advanced. Why are we not the front runners for this thing? This is ridiculous. So now I gotta wait another 20 years for what amounts to. This feels like a random dice roll. The fact that I'm so far technically, technologically ahead of him, but you're telling me that my leader accounted for 3,000 points. Come on, man. I mean, 
Jeez. What? Do you think somebody wouldn't notice when you coded that? Did you think, ah, they're not going to notice. Just fucking roll a dice. Nobody cares. It's the illusion. It's the illusion that matters. If the player thinks that this actually matters, that's all that counts. Not the actual mechanics. Screw you. Fuck you. Bullshit. It's like, why even have this then? Succession challenge type. I'll tell you what it is. I rolled a dice. I rolled a fucking dice. That's what happened. Behind the scenes. Random number generator. Doink. Spit out a number. See, here's, here's what I'm asking for game developers. Don't blow me. Don't blow smoke up my ass. If you're just going to roll a random dice behind the scenes, then just say that. Just say, succession type challenge. It's just, it's just random. A, a random dice will be rolled. A random dice will be rolled and you will be selected. Or not. Okay, fine. I want to know the rules so that I know how to play the game against them. But if you're continually fucking me with the rules... I don't want to play. Do you get it? You can't tell me that I have a one in three shot of, of winning something and then behind the scenes I really have a one in a million shot of winning it. Because as soon as I find out the truth, I'm done with your bullshit. This, this is wrong. The leader made up 3,000 points? Listen, my technology level is so far ahead of these fuckers that if a leader can account for that difference, if a leader can account for that difference, then what you should be telling the user up here is victory depends on the ruler's leader and your technological level doesn't mean shit. Because if you're four times bigger than the person who ends up winning, that's effectively what this means, is it's bullshit. It doesn't... That second part of that, victory depend on technological level, bullshit. That's a lie. And there is nothing that pisses me off more in video games than you bastards lying to us. Don't lie. Just give us the straight truth, especially in a 4X game. It's a strategy game. How are we supposed to strategize if you lie to us? This is just like the great con being pulled out of your ass the last series. And making shit up and making them spawn out of nowhere in my own territory. Stop lying to your customers. Cut it out. We're done with this shit. Stop lying to us. Fucking just cut it out. We don't want this. I hate going on rants, but it seems like these people just don't listen and they don't learn. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being lied to by game developers and I'm tired of them hiding the mechanics behind the scenes and lying to me about it. I'm tired of the blatant lying. It's not a bug. I know that's not a bug. They coded that that way and then they lied to us about it. They said, oh yeah, your technological level matters. No, it doesn't. I just watched it not matter. So don't lie to us. Over here, change this. Make this description accurate. Say victory will depend on a random dice roll. I'm fine with that. Let me know the truth so I can make a decision. The only way any of us can ever make decisions in life is by having the facts. It's the only way a jury can make a decision in a court case. It's the only way we can make decisions about things. This is why we have lemon laws. This is why we have courts. This is why we have civil... This is why we can sue people in civil court when they try to cheat us. Because we can't make good decisions if people are lying to us. If you're telling me that the house I'm about to buy has passed inspection and then I buy the house and I find out two months later that I have huge bills on that house to fix things like the foundation and the plumbing and all, all this other shit because the inspector lied to me and the realtor lied to me, I take them to court. We can't make decisions if you lie to us. So stop it.
Stop the fucking lying. There are, there are a few things in this world that I cannot stand, and I'm sure this is why the military was all too happy to give me a top secret, security and say, top secret security clearance and say, we know we can trust you with, with secrets. Because I hate liars and I hate thieves. Like, they burn me up. Nothing makes me more angry than someone lying. And theft is right there with it. It's the same thing. It's like, stop it. You're lying to me, so don't do it. God, just give us the facts so we can make decisions. If I'm up here and you tell me this is a random dice roll to determine who gets to be the leader, then I'm not invested. I don't care. I don't care. Great, it's a random dice roll. All right. My expectations don't have to get blown out of the water by a blatant lie. God. I mean, have you ever dated anybody before? Has nobody on the Paradox Development team, have you never dated anybody? Have you never been married? Have you never gone through a divorce? Have you never been lied to? Do you not know how this feels? This sucks. Stop lying to us. Give us the facts. Let us make the decision based on the facts. You set expectations when you lie to people. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> I'm just so sick of crap like this. Like, this is why I just... Conversely, I get so much joy out of video game companies that don't want to lie to me anymore and just want to tell me the straight facts. Night Dive Studios is making a remake of System Shock. It looks marvelous. They have not even tried to make it Doom. They have not even tried to make put the graphics on par with the latest and greatest. They've been like, no, we're going for a specific aesthetic. We're trying to, we're trying to relive this game. Fantastic. Don't lie to us about what it is or it isn't. Yeah, it's not going to have the greatest gunplay of all time because it's trying to be a remake of System Shock. It is a remake of System Shock. It's not like trying to reinvent it. You know, don't lie to us. Don't lie. Lying stinks. For everybody involved. So just stop it. Cut it out. All right. I know, I went on and I probably lost a lot of viewers in the middle of that episode from all the ranting. But I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done shutting my mouth and keeping the peace. I'm done with, I'm done with just rolling over and accepting these things. I'm too old for that shit now. I'm too old. I'm going to turn 50 this year. I'm absolutely done with just accepting the world the way it is and accepting people's blatant bullshit the way it is and saying, oh yeah, sure, that's... That's just the way the world is. Oh well. It's just a video game. Paradox didn't tell us the truth about how this feature works. No big deal, right? Bullshit. At a certain time at a certain point in your in your life, you just get done with everybody's crap. You just get done with it. And and I and I'm done being I'm done with it, and I'm done being silent about it. I'm not gonna. There's no reason to. And if it makes people watching this video turn it off and, and leave hurtful comments down below, then so be it. I don't, I don't care. I'm going to speak my mind. <laughs> it's Encased. And, it's, and by the way, Encased is a video game. I think that's what it's called. I did a, a really early, early release review of it when it was in really early EA Access. I did a review for that on saverquit.com. Back when I was reviewing video games with those guys. And um, it looks really promising. It has that Fallout feel to it. That uh, Wastelanders feel to it. It looks... it looks The engine looks very similar to Wastelanders. Except I think it has a little better f features going on with it. But it looks really nice. But unfortunately the combat was just incredibly unbalanced at the time. I really want to go back and play it again. In fact, it may be something I have to feature on this channel to show people what, what is coming because I think the game has a ton of potential, but I want to spend some time with it. All right, Foundry Arcology. This is not this is not a great planet to do this on. You can see there's not well there will be a lot. Actually it is. It's size twenty two, so it's really good. But we have to start providing jobs. So that's the number one thing. Let's <laughs> get Let's get some foundry arcology provided and start moving some people over here. This, this is going to be great. This is going to be fantastic. And, and that this is the one planet where I will put down also a gene clinic. 
uh, to help with growth. So. so what's happening over here? The alien glyphs above the door. Oh yeah, Zarklan. Great, we can get Zarklan's head out of that. So that's nice. We'll keep doing, working on that one. I still don't know what I'm doing with this planet. Oh, but I can put gas extraction wells on it. There's two of them. That's great. There's, I'm going to put down some uh, the, the building that boosts those. So I like where the Empire is at right now. The Great Pyramid. Science team observation station orbiting Ostique 3 have not reported anything substantial in a while. And that was until a young scientist stationed in the facility sent an encrypted message. Oh, yeah. Recall the team and scrap the pot. Hilarious. The prank will go down in history. Erase all our traces and keep working. Remove Great Pyramid. Pop. Dies. Hilarious. This, I'm going to do the hilarious thing. Let's see. Hope no bad consequences happen. I don't think I've ever selected that before. We'd like to extend our deal because we have the money to do it. Give you guys some more jobs. It's going to be a really nice little food planet there for us. So in, in some respects, I do want to apologize for those kinds of rants like that that seem to pop up once every series now. But I'm just... I hope everybody can kind of understand my frustration. You know, especially the frustration of spending a lifetime trying to bite your tongue and not say anything. And I'm just really done with that. It's like, eh, I'm going to speak my mind. I think the people at Paradox have done an amazing job on this work. And certainly the, the, with Crusader Kings and some of the other games that people laud and love. It, it, it's... I don't want to... I don't want to make it sound like, you know, 2% of the game or 1% of the game that irritate me make me think that they're horrible people. I don't. I think they're all probably really awesome developers, and I think they're probably really awesome people. They've made some really great games. They've got a, a big company making a lot of really cool games. But the, the parts that irritate me are very, very irritating. And part of that is the rest of their work is so good. Why do those really bad parts crop up like that? I just... I find it a little baffling. It's like, you guys are doing some really good work, and then you're doing this. This is another one of those. Upgrade the Kalanka Crystal Plant. This is on Hishma. So upgrade that. This planet has a ruler. How are we doing over here on Cybrex Alpha? Oh, 67 days. <laughs> well, a Hishma, one of the Hishmas, Whichever one it was that has a ruler, we can move it to this ring section here. Ruined ring section. Once we get it, once we get uh, somebody over here who can do the colonization of it, this is going to be gorgeous. I'm excited about this. Ecumenopolis. Boundary Arcology, yes. Build it so that we can start... Oh, look, there's 93 jobs over here, but they're all uh, clerk jobs. I don't, I don't care about those. We are going to make many other much better -er jobs. Better -er. There we go. Ring World section restored. Let's go. Colonize this sucker. <laughs> ring A1, because there will be more Ring Worlds. Okay. We need to get some more of this. Uh, I don't want to sell. I want to buy. 2,500. That gets us to 10K. Boom. Shakalaka. Start moving. How are we doing? 241 days over here. Has the science ship made it? Is he there? He's working on it. Wait a minute. Yep. Research that project. You don't have a lot of days left. You got 212 days for the Uskian system. And then you got to get all the way up there to those guys. Oh yeah, so it's Stebnar that's got a leader. Okay, well if he doesn't drop, he's unemployed. He's an unemployed leader, and it's going to take how long? 1,700 days for him to get down. That ring world should be colonized before then, I would hope. 
How are you doing there? 5%. Are you going to get that done? Looks like he will. Let's see what kind of research he digs out of that. War deflagration. I'm going to vote no. But we're going to go to war anyway. Oh, the war declaration failed. Are we still in a unanimous system? Are we still unanimous for war? Vote war declaration, majority vote. Oh, yes, we are. Okay. I don't want to go to war just yet. I'm happy to change that in a little bit, but first I want to get this done. Who were they going to go to war with? The allied Varel of Realms. The allied Varel of Realms. Oh, they're by themselves. Oh, Federation Builders. Where are they at? Allied Varela Varela Where are they at? They're over here. Oh, they're way over there. They're not anywhere that we can even worry about. I'm not worried about them. We wouldn't have to be engaged in that war, so... We might, we might vote yes for that. Three analyzed. Okay, get up here and get this one. If they want to go to war again, we'll vote for it. Because it's way over on that other side and we don't even care about that. Here. Let's see. Let's put a shipyard here and. Cruise quarters. I need. We don't have gateway building yet, do we? Nope. We'll get that. That technology's coming up. You guys are back here. Upgrade your fleet. Let's see. Hold on. Before we do that. So what is this? These offer 110 hit points and these offer 110. So that we're not using crystals. We're going to go like this. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What is this? Let's start at the top. Let's just go armored. And what I like to do is... Oh, wait a minute. Do I already have penetrators? No. Nope. So now we're in Pelvis. Pen for the penetration. That's what I like my little Corvettes to be. You guys can be gone. Delete. The Amoebas can be gone. Delete. Uh, this Corvette. Okay, this Destroyer. Same thing here, because we're going to get... Don't even really need this destroyer. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm um, actually what I want to do is the point defense one. I'm gonna change you all over to point defense. Little penetrators. Hey, hey, hey! I thought I paused you. I thought I paused you, my friend. We tell you, state range 50, you become TK point defense, you're the only destroyers that I end up using now, Research. cruisers, gosh darn it, I thought I paused you, stop it, you're wasting my time, <laughs> jeez, it's like, mega shipyard, yeah, that's the first thing I want to build, um, okay, let's go back in here, cruiser, you're very nice, but I want this to change. And I want regenerative hull tissue for you and shields. And you're staying at, what, 80 range and shooting? Good. And now the other cruiser, the point defense one. What do we have here? We've got a couple different choices. Hull points. Hull point hull. Nice. Actually, yeah. Well, these are the point defense ones. I kind of tend to auxiliary fire control these guys. I don't know if that's central range piracy suppression six damage, basic strike craft, excess power, flak battery, flak battery three, and guardian point defense seven. What happens if I change this? Three and seven. Does it say seven point five three? I don't. Do those even make a difference? This is chance to hit auxiliary fire. What does that affect? 
I'm not even sure what it affects. Because this accuracy 100% already. These are accuracy 75%. I, I'm going to leave it like this. I'd like to know more about that. I need to dig into that, I suppose. You folks, give me these. And the other ones. Then we can... Doink. Alright. So there's that. Go, oh, and you... Perfect, you have 5,000 of them, 150 influence, perfect, do it. Oh, and that's what it'll take to upgrade is 5,000. We're going to wait to upgrade those guys. <laughs> what I really want to do is start doing, putting some gateways in places. Debris analyzed. I'm not worried about the food thing because we're actually selling 650 of it, so. And I should, while I'm here, let me see if I can add some more. Alloys being bought. Okay, what do we have here? Metallurgist jobs. What's our population? Metallurgist. Free jobs. Now, do we have any, here's what I want to do, population. And it's building a metallurgist. See, I'm just going to let it build those. I think that it'll smartly keep building them. We're going to find out. Um, what I'm what I'm curious about is how smart the game is about about growing populations that can be helpful. Um, so, for instance, these guys, Penthulians. I'm not worried about them because what is the Ecumenopolis? It's a Ecumenopolis, anybody can grow on there. Who Who's on there right now? Let's look. Oh, God, there's everybody. Okay. It's everybody except Penthulians. What did we lose? General has died. No big deal. Okay. We don't need him right now. So if we want to go, we see that there's... Federation level unlocked. Okay. So, medium. We can switch to medium? Yes. And vote for the Federation proposal. And change to medium. So now we can do a few different things. Fleet contribution. Members transfer 10% of the enable capacity to the Federation. Monthly cohesion. Minus 25. Okay. Golden rule. Energy credits. I almost want to do that. What is this? The ruler's leader and species traits in the Empire's ethics and service. I don't... Vote, wait, diplomatic. Yes, please. Vote, wait, will be diplomatic. Succeeded. Great. Construction complete. War declaration. I'm ready to change that, but I'm not going to yet. Free migration. Yes. Because then I don't have to pay for that. Migration treaties. How many migration treaties do I have now? We have a migration treaty with them. So, are all these disappeared now? Yes! Alright. <laughs> I love that. More influence. That part I like a lot. Okay. Alright. Secession type. Challenge. You might as well make it random because I don't see how any of this is gonna work. The only the only one that even has chance then is I'm gonna change it to golden rule. Cause clearly us being so far ahead in tech did not matter. Those who wish to parlay is Zarklan. Cause it, at least with the money, if you've got the money, you can just spend it. And you can keep spending it and spending it and spending it. And if you're really rich, you have a chance to win. But I thought, you know, tech, it made all the sense in the world that our tech level was so high, we should just crush everybody. And we didn't. There, Somebody way behind with a leader way behind made up the difference. I mean, that just seems unrealistic. So, Stebnar. Okay, I'm going to move your leader to the Ecumenopolis because he's going to need it. Ecumenopolis, where is it? 
EQ, EQ, right there. Okay. I'm going to move your ruler. We're going to go through here and look for things that we can do. Because nobody else has an unemployed pop, do they? Binzoon, nope. You guys, you're building stuff to take care of that. Well, these people, what are they? Darzak. They'll get there. So, the, so we can go into species and we can do this like um, the Rufari. I'm, I'm curious about this because I have a bunch of Rufari here who are scientists. Actually, I want to be a little more specific than that even. Neutronium armor. Let's go back to the EQML office and see who... Wow, what do we have? So the current population, there's a lot of scroll. There's a lot of... Well, so the pie is showing me stuff, but when I hover over pieces of the pie, it doesn't tell me anything specific. Darzak, 6%. The Varler is 10%. Ooh, the Zoom is 14%. And another 2% of Zoom. Varlov, Rufari, Metallurgist, half Zon, Zon. So the, there's a lot of Zom. So if we went to the Zom and we said Zom, we looked at these guys and we said, let's modify your template. Oh, and we can't because we don't have beneficial traits thing. Oh, so we'd have to go into here. We'd have to first take that off, and this is what they're very strong. Worker resource output is plus five. That's kind of great. That's what I'm after. Do they have anything else here that would help us with being a metallurgist? Not really, because they have yeah worker out. They already have what I want, which is the worker output thing. So all you could really do with them is make them grow faster and take up less less housing space so if we did that pop consumer goods upkeep pop housing usage and where is their oh empire sprawl from pops or where's the growth I don't, pop growth speed cost two so if we call these guys um metallurgist We did that and we applied that template to the EQ monopoly the species on the EQ monopolis only that one person there and anywhere else that we have these the a a f a that's our those are our alloy planets so we did that trappist situation log updated it's all it's a tiny little bit of micromanagement but you know for five percent but still we're we have to prep and fight for for the 25 times crisis that's the at the end of the day that's what we're trying to deal with here and then this planet over here continental world let's go colonize that sucker darzax i really like that mod that gets the naming right so i don't have to switch that every time that's really nice You can land your troops down here. Science ship, what are you doing? You got that? You got that research? Okay. Well, then you can come on home. I think you were in Trappist, weren't you? Species modified. Yep. So there's somebody there and there's somebody... There you go. Species modified. All this will be designed to get us more alloys. I may want to create two Ecumenopolises this playthrough. I usually only go with one, but we'll see how many minerals we end up with. We may want two, because we're going to want to conquer the galaxy, and we're going to need a lot of ships to deal with that crisis, and I think two Ecumenopolises might be necessary. What are you guys doing? How can we not, like, home... Oh, 
because we need to upgrade this. We don't have <laughs> that's got it. That, that's why we don't have a place for you to dock like a bunch of dummies. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Upgrade your ships. Then you guys can dock over here. And what do we need down here? There's a oh yeah, fleet academy. Bill is already built on this station. Naval logistics office. Oh, if we save this last one. And we're gonna put, want to put Titan shipyards on there anyway. You guys, good job. Chunk. Market fee. We need to move the market to to one of our worlds. You guys are going to keep needing domes, aren't you? That's just the deal. Gas extraction wells, that'd be nice. But we can't... I do this. Oh, and is this another one of these? Upgrade building. Click to upgrade to Kalanka Crystal Plant. Oh, wow. That whole Kalanka Crystal Plant thing is... Pretty awesome. Pursuit of profit. Okay, this opens up the next one. We can do Galactic Wonders. Which I really want. Next. Get the research options for those. How are we doing with our research? Mega Shipyard. Science Nexus. Next. We don't have anybody with the materials, do we? Oh, yes, we do. And he's age 91 and he's commanding the science ship. And that bumps him up to 78, which is really nice. Which one should you be doing? There's some research on there and none there yet. Okay. Research complete. So that gets us the science nexus, which is nice. Century ray, matter decompressor. That's one of the first things I really like to build. Moderate research sanctions. Empires that have been denounced. Well, I'm going to oppose that. I'm going to oppose all the denouncing stuff. Ban the century and slave trade. I thought we already did that. Change council size to four. Oppose. Space Amoeba Protection Act. Sure. Repeal Astral Studies Network. Oppose. Okay, you guys are all very, very busy. What about resolutions? Five year plans. Weak support. It's fine, but... Okay, colony established. Let's go. This is the ring world, right? Oh, 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 oh. Research ring world. Oh my gosh. Start moving pops. We need greater than ourselves. Oh, it's a great day. It's a great day in the neighborhood, and we should, we should really go to here and also do this. Immigration call on that, and same thing with the Iki Monopolis. Let's go. And this is what Iki Monopolis Foundry, because this makes build speed faster. I should have nailed that way earlier. Neutronium armor. Oh yes, and kinetic batteries, please. Those things are awesome. Well, here it is, 2331. We got about. A hundred years to go before we can even start worrying about the end game crisis. So in the next hundred years, we have to build a lot of fleets, a lot of fleets, lots, so many. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna be building over here luxury residences on this little world. It was gonna be a research world, but it's mostly gonna be mining, I think. Yeah, especially because I oh all the mineral bonuses here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna rename this. It's just gonna be mining. <laughs> what is this? You guys want to go to war? We'll vote yes against the allied Velar realms. So now we're at war. They're up here, and it seems like we should probably go help. So let's get over here. Uh, what I would like to do also well, I'm going to wait on a couple of things I want to build some more ships 
Yeah, so that one that world that we just changed to minerals here. Um, I'm going to take that and replace it with luxury residences, both of these, in fact, because that's... Complete. This thing here is basically going to be a matter decompressor. <laughs> Mega shipyard. Fleet command limit. Give me that. Terraforming gases. We don't need those anymore. This Zarklon, the fourth changer. Yeah. So, we're getting close to having his head. This planet right here is almost done and it has no housing left. <laughs> so what we're going to do is build... Like, how many of these embassy complexes? Planet limit one. Man, That if you build one for every planet, you could have a lot of envoys. That would really boost your federation status, wouldn't it? Wow, that's tempting to even just try that, but we have more pressing matters to worry about. Okay, these we're guys are going to need... Luxury residences. In fact, um, eh, let's change that. Let's do this. We're going to replace the generator district with city. Probably two of them. And down here in the last spot, we're going to put, for now, a ministry of production. And then on the robot factory, replace that with the galactic stock exchange. Kinetic battery, those things are awesome. Alloy nano plants. This is the second raised upgrade one, and this is the second raised upgrade one for that. It's beautiful. What's going on here is beautiful. This is a research planet doing its research things. It's got plenty of jobs, though. We don't have anywhere that we have to worry about. Oh, this is going to have some jobs here soon. It's going to need some jobs. They say not have some jobs. Need some jobs. Oh, and I want to go back to that one. What did I do? Research labs. Everybody needs a stronghold. We're in a position now where we really have to start considering that on every world. And we're going to have to start building some habitats for those. There's no way around that now. If we're going to be able to get our fleets up, we have to do that. Have to, have to, have to. Ecumenopolis, got a lot of jobs. That's right. The next thing we need to do is get you some uh, precinct houses. Let's build those. And build an upgrade to that. This will help bring some people in. 120 alloys, nice. That's what we gotta do. We gotta build them. Do we have gateway construction yet? Yes. Start building, my friend. And down here at Darzakia, build me another construction ship. In fact, build me a couple of them because we're gonna have to spread out. So here come the gateways. That's awesome. Metallurgist output. Let's just grab that now. Your materials, so that gives you a 78% bonus. Level 4. Scientist, that's nice. Yep. It's beautiful. It's beautiful and a nice research world here. Um, let's get the other... Well, you need a stronghold. Crystals. What are we looking at up here? 10, 31, and 10. That's well, like. Okay, so there's one of you. Go up here. And the other one. Go here. <laughs> I'm going to build a couple more. I don't mind having them. We're going to need them. Because we're going to need to build habitats, too. We're going to start one and build those for the explicit purpose of creating fortresses. Fortresses and refineries on habitats. Because uh, we're going to need tons and tons and tons of fortresses. Uh, we're going to need so many fortresses, it's going to be ridiculous. But that I feel like that's the only way to defeat a 25 times crisis is to have 
as many fortresses as you can build between now and when the crisis shows up and build as many ships as possible between now and when the crisis shows up so that we can actually survive the onslaught we're still doing really good with money so i'm going to buy some more of those too hey darzakia i want you moving down to here and then the last one right here at darzak let's see which can you build a habitat oh yeah there's one two three four five six planets here that can build habitats perfect get to work uh, this is it's got to be done I think that uh, I mean my experience playing the game tells me that's going to be one of the only things to do because you saw the last playthrough when I did in for word perfection I ended up with like nine fleets that were maxed out at 230 uh, logistics and that's that was their size and that was a lot of fleets and that still would not have I'm not sure that would have made a dent in a 25 times crisis so but I didn't build any real habitats that playthrough either. We're going to have to. There's Research. just no other way around it. So, Habitability. Starbase capacity. Let's go for habitability. That'll make all of our workers a little better. The ring world. Building research segments. It's got some peoples here. So we got to move some people over there. That's the thing now. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what would be ideal. Oh boy, I'll tell you what would be ideal. Would be raiding bombardment. That would that would let us populate Research complete. some planets. It didn't work as inward perfection. I tried that on the on a version of it, and it didn't work. But it should here. That'd be something to consider. I pretty much have all the rest of my slots planned, though. Uh, I want... I need... Evolutionary Mastery. Research and then complete. we need Defender of the Galaxy. So that's two more. And the last slot I, I was going to save for... A lot of different things. I was going to try to figure out whether I wanted a Colossus. That was I wanted the Colossus... I think I might need that, but the raiding one, which is called what? Not Imperial Prerogative. Voidborn. That might actually be really important for us. Nihilistic Acquisition. See, raiding would only be a temporary thing. It wouldn't be a permanent thing. It wouldn't be something that would be useful for, to us for the whole entire game. But on the other hand, that habitat thing, being able to make our habitats even bigger and better, that can be really important. Because again, I'm, I'm thinking about 25 times and Game Crisis the whole time. That's what I'm thinking about is how do we defeat that? I've never, I mean, two times is the biggest I've played now. I've never played 25 times. I'm really going all the way into the deep end of the pool on that. <laughs> and that's... That's uh, at once a little bit spooky. You don't have a stronghold either, so... Let's give that to you. What are you guys doing here? Go, you gonna go get them? Who is this? What does this say? System is fully occupied by the Allied Verilo. It's like we skipped over that. We didn't. Research complete. Hey, what do we have here? Okay. Lots of stuff here. Zarklon at your service. Relic found. Ahead of Zarklon. Incoming transmission. You have found the legendary tomb of Zarklon. Then the augurs told me I did not believe them, but the evidence is irrefutable. I understand that you have the prophet's head in your possession. Then as was foretold, the chosen of the Zarklon have at last been revealed. As would have been Zarklon's wish, any unsettled holy worlds near our space are yours to do with. This is the S. Jagon. So the S. Jagon... Where are they located at? I should have clicked that button. 
Where are they located at? Necroids, right here. Any unsettled holy worlds? You know what I want to do about that then. Um, science ship, what are you doing? You're done because you just got done being an archaeologist. Go here. Survey that system. I got an idea. Okay, here. This world. Mm, look how big it is. Size 22. I'm going to make this EQ2. We're going to we're going to call it that and then we're just going to start. We're going to get started. That's going to be our second EQ Monopolis. We got to have two of them. I'm just convinced of that. I think that's the necessary way. Unity ambitions and ascension perks. Ooh. Okay, you guys. Go over here and get these guys. Construction complete. Kinetic weapon damage, we're gonna some repeatables. Ring world, which we don't need right this second. That constructor's like, I'm out of here. We're out of here. These guys are pounding on us. Here we come. Just as they th just as they were thinking, oh yeah. Go get him, tiger. Alpha strike him. Oh, they come to a slow halt as they all die. That's beautiful. Pentulan, who? Allied Vilver of Realms? You guys need to be doing. Who died? Envoy, okay. I might have to grab some space up here in the Allied Vilver of Realms, too. <laughs> Get an anchor like I have over here. Oh, let's see. You guys should be building gateways. So let's get you started doing it. Gateways. And what's that? That costs a little bit of... A little bit to do that. Because it costs influence too. That's the other thing. All right, geez, we went over the hour. I went over the hour. I spent quite a bit of time in the middle there complaining. Still having fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. Normal speed, paused. Um, if you dig the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you subscribe to the channel, like the episode, and leave a question and comment down. You know all this stuff by now. My Patreon's listed in the description. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.